All right, guys, what's up? How's it going? Mark Flores Car Reviews here, of course. And you already know who's holding the camera, assisting me, my right-hand man, Jordan. How you doing? <sighs> guys, special, special video for you guys today. Um, shout out to my homie Diego for letting us borrow his Ford Focus ST for today's video. And this is how uh, cool of a guy he is. He's like, hey Mark, I got this car, I got this Ford Focus ST. Why don't you take it out for a few hours, tell me what you think, and uh, just go enjoy it, film with it. And that's what we're doing here today in the canyons. And um, we're gonna go and see what, what it feels like to drive a Ford Focus ST, 2016 to be exact. So let's go ahead and start it up. Immediately we're presented with the ST logo right there. Really cool touch. Let's go ahead and take it out for a drive, guys. In first gear, and uh, the initial bite on the clutch is at, at the very bottom, so it's really easy to handle. Let's go ahead and do a, a pull from first gear. Do the torque oh, steer, dude! <laughs> dude! Oh, that was, did you feel that? That was fun. So a thing, uh, are you still recording? Yeah. So a thing with this uh, front wheel drive car, specifically the ST is known for this, a lot of torque steer. Now, Jordan, you have a better um, explanation. What is torque steer? So usually torque steer comes from front wheel drive cars. Most of the time, the power is being put down to the front wheels with too much force and it causes that torque, which we saw on the steering wheel. Yes. That's... Saw it kind of pulling his wheels all over the road. Which makes sense, guys, because let's say you're in a Mustang, the tail is going to want to kick out, right? With yeah. too much power going to the wheels. Oh, yeah. So since the power is front wheel drive, specifically in this car, um, it just so happens to be that it's a front-wheel drive car and you're steering the front wheels, of course. It's gonna wanna get out of control and that's what torque steer is. And that felt so cool, dude. I never felt anything like that. That was fun. That was cool. That was really cool. We gotta do that again. And uh, what are the numbers for this? 252 horsepower, I believe? Yep, and 270 pound-feet of torque. All right, and what kind of engine are we looking at, Jordan? Uh, inline four, two liter. Turbocharged. Turbocharged. And you can hear the spools uh, oh, slightly. Yeah. Let's that's see nice. if we can hear it a little bit. I can hear it slightly. A little bit. And it's pretty good for stock because straight from the factory, the exhaust is a little throaty. You could hear the, the spool, um, but I bet you you could modify this, make it open up a little bit more, and have a loud spool too. Bring that thing whistle like a choo-choo train. Yes, dude. And this thing is pretty quick too. Oh yeah, it obviously, is. Obviously not the fastest car we've been in, but it's quick, it's sporty, and don't even get me started on the handling. This is a, a monster when it comes to the twisties. And for front wheel drive cars, I, I think this is true because you have more control, you know? Yeah. I don't I know how to that. explain it, but front wheel drive cars, you just, you, you turn in tighter. Feels planted. Yes, exactly. So a little bit about the ST. Uh, ST, which stands for Sports Technology, um, was first introduced in the early 2010s. I want to say 2011, I'm not too sure, uh, for this newer Actually, they have a new generation, right? Like a newer revised one. This is in the middle. This is um, from 2015 to 2018, I believe. Uh, it's got a much sharper design to it, more modern design that's gonna age well compared to the first generation. Uh, we got a revised um, spoiler on the back, different wheels, LED headlights, of course. If you're uh, on the thinner side, like Jordan, on the sad. medium side, but it holds me in really well. And as you can see, we're turning in like nothing and the seats are holding us in. Beautiful day out here, by the way. Very nice. So for the steering wheel, we've got a leather wrapped uh, perforated steering wheel. Really nice uh, size as well. Grips really good. Uh, we got the Ford badge here, of course. We got our controls right here. Other additional controls. ST logo right here on the bottom to let you know that you're in something special. We got the temperatures, the PSI and the boost, oil temp. And uh, how do you feel about the infotainment system, Jordan? It's a little dated. So it's a little on the smaller side, but you're not buying this car for amenities like that. You're buying this car for performance and to enjoy it. Um, that's one of the feelings you get in this ST. You can really push it and while having a smile on your face. It's really good on gas too. All around driver's car. Definitely. All right, so we're gonna hit up some twisties right here. Um, Jordan, just go ahead and capture what the vibe is like, the environment. Look at all this greenery and the shrubbery. Really good visibility from this front window, as well as the back windows as well. So, let's go and take it in. Again, you hear the, the spool. I heard it then. That's nice. Dude. Yeah, that was nice. It feels like I'm in a movie every time I drive past here, guys. This is why I love doing my reviews here. And it changes in time of the year, of course. Oh, in yeah. the winter, it's not snow, but 
definitely a dark vibe. Yeah. But right near with when we're approaching spring, everything's look at all green. The green. It's everything's nice. Nice. Everyone's chilling on their bikes. Beautiful Sunday morning. Beautiful out here. Everyone taking out their cars. I'll tell you what, though, this thing handles like a dream. Oh, I bet. This is nice, dude. I just love how the, I can't stop talking about the turbo. You can hear the turbo just echo off the, the walls of the trees. Something else. This is the music of the forest right here. This is really planted. I'm enjoying this a lot. Wow. Did you hear that? Oh yeah. I that was that. nice. Only these bikers would let us out of the way. I know, right? Oh, a little bit about the exhaust too. So the owner um, told me that this is fully stock. So I'm quite impressed with the exhaust being that throaty from stock. It's not loud, but it's not quiet. Right. It has a presence. Yes. And uh, how do you feel about the, the shape of the exhaust, Jordan? It's almost like a HDMI cable. It's kind of unique. It's interesting. Very interesting. Almost kind of reminds me of the SI. Yes. The new Honda SI exhaust. Well, this one sounds way better. Oh, yeah. No doubt stock. about that. I'm take a little uh, stop. I admire the exterior. It looks really cool in this black exterior. Um, I believe they also come in red, white, other colors as well. But black really accentuates the lines, the beautiful muscular um, lines. LED headlights, of course. Let's go ahead and pop open the engine, see what that looks like as well. So here's the engine, guys. I'm trying to look for the turbo, though. Probably hidden back somewhere yeah. underneath. Are you familiar with this engine? What other uh, part shares this engine, George? You know? Or is this specific? Does the Fiesta ST share this? I don't think so, actually. Okay. I think it may have less displacement in the uh, okay. Fiesta. I'll tell you what, the NEST line, whether it's Fiesta Focus, nothing to take lightly. These things can really perform, especially for the money. Now, um, of course, there's the RS, which is all-wheel drive, which everyone wants, but 15 grand difference between this and the RS, and this does plenty. Very this true. This is plenty of fun right here. And you get all the cool amenities that um, other cars in its market wouldn't particularly have, like the Recaro seats, um, the turbo, of course. Front wheel drive, the spoiler. I mean, this is pretty much it. This is really nice. Let's go back to driving. I really enjoy this. Let's go back to driving. I'm down. I'm gonna talk about this shift knob. So, Jordan and I have been in a, a Ford Focus RS before, and I'm comparing it to the Ford Focus RS because um, we sat in that before taking a seat in this, and this is very similar to the RS feeling, don't you think, Jordan? If not identical. It's notchy. I love how it feels. And it almost feels weighted. Yes. You know exactly where you're at in the gates. It's not too close to each other. Really notchy, nice uh, feel to the shifter. I'm not a really big fan of round shift knobs, but the shape of this really, um, it really goes along with my hand. I don't know. Contours your hand's shape. Thank you, Jordan. Guys, have you listened to Eternal Take by Lil Uzi Vert? Because <laughs> I know we have have. If you guys have, comment down your favorite song. What's your favorite song, Jordan? Mine has to be Secure the Bag. Secure the Bag is good. Baby Pluto. Pretty much all the songs. Yeah. And I can't wait till the deluxe comes out. Oh, uh, I know. This is going to be sick. I'm too hyped. Let's go out for a drive. Yeah. So again, off visibility, you can see everything in here with all the windows. This being a hatch, it's practical for almost anything. Let's see about that acceleration again. This thing handles like a dream, dude. That was good. That was nice. That was really good. Around this wow, turn, too. son. Wow. I've driven a lot of cars, as you as you have, Jordan. Oh yeah. But I can tell you right off the bat, this is one of the best handling cars I've ever driven. At least I can't wait till you get a feel for it. In a oh yeah. Too. Wow, dude. The noises that come out of the engine, the turbo spool, the exhaust. It's a symphony of musical notes. I love it so much. Alright, so as far as storage space is concerned, it actually is pretty nice. 
On the side here, you actually have what appears to be two cup holder placements and a nice area for coins, whatever you may need. Same goes for this little center area as well. You can just store your phone, perhaps. Back in here, we also have a nice deep center armrest with nice padded leather it feels really nice and the cargo space that's actually in the back is really spacious you can fit a lot in there you can also put the seats down so you can fit mattresses whatever you may need and yeah again not to mention it's a hatchback guys this you could take it out to camping trips long road trips fold down those back seats and you have plenty of room to put all your luggage you can fit anything back there honestly. oh yeah and uh, there's also um hidden uh, compartments next to the seat just like in the RS remember they're right next to the seat oh, yeah, maybe yeah, you could yeah. put your change your phone but that's there nonetheless um, but like I said it's a hatchback and not many hatchbacks in the market at this time that this came out looked as good as this car very true very true so I want to talk about the pedals a little bit so obviously um, we got a clutch here this only comes in a six-speed manual so you're if you don't know how to drive stick I suggest you learn if you're looking to get into something like this. But um, the initial bite on the clutch is really at the very beginning, so you gotta be very delicate with it. And look, I'm letting it off a little bit, and it's already taking off. I love that about this car. Really easy to learn. And don't even get me started on the shift knob. The shifting gears, really notchy. I love the feeling. It feels satisfying. It feels like you accomplished something, you know, like a marathon. It feels like you just graduated from university, you know? <laughs> right, Jordan? You, oh, know, yeah. you know the feeling, right? I know the feeling. There's nothing rewarding like a nice car. Very true. Very true. So a little bit about fuel mileage. Uh, 27 in the city. 23 in the city, sorry. And 32 on the highway. So that's really economical. Um, again, this is a perfect daily driver. It has performance, and it also has good fuel mileage. Zero to 60 around 6.2 seconds, so it's no slouch. Very true. And there's that Audi R8 again. And there he is. Hopefully so we hear that exhaust. I He's it. not gonna do it. He ain't doing it this But man, did we hear that guy zoom by when we took the little pit stop? That exhaust sounded amazing. So, I was thinking about this, and so this thing has around 252 horsepower, you said, Jordan? Yep. Yeah, so that's plenty of power. Not powerful, but plenty of power. And that's why I think um, it's really enjoyable in the canyons and the twisties is uh, because, let's face it, think about this, the Miata, the S2000, what, the BRZ, the FRS, mm -hmm. they're not powerful cars. Nope, not really. I think what makes them so fun to drive is the ability to push it all the way. Yeah. The ability to step on it all the way to the floor it triggers something in your brain. You're, you feel like you're doing something cool, you know? You're stepping in it all the way. You feel like something's gonna happen. And um, that's why Miatas, that's thousands of BRZs, they're really enjoyable. And I think this is why this car is really enjoyable as well. It's a little bit more powerful than those cars, so it's a little bit more enjoyable, but uh, it's all in the way it handles as well. True. Let's go ahead and see about that torque steering again, because that was really unique. I enjoyed that a lot. That was something like I've never felt before. Very true. Torque steer time or what? Torque steer. No chirp. No chirp. No chirp. How did that feel, Jordan? That felt that amazing felt good. on my behalf. That felt good. Dude. That was fun. The tires actually do a really good job uh, with grip. Wow. Yeah. That was cool. That was really fun. Diego, you have a wonderful car on your hands. I'm jealous. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's going to go and conclude today's review on the 2016 Ford Focus ST. Really exceptional car. Special thanks to Diego for giving us the opportunity to take out his car on this fine Sunday and enjoy it a little bit and see what it's like to drive an ST. Um, this is one of the most enjoyable cars I've ever driven, and I can't wait to drive some other um, cars and review them for you guys in the next couple weeks. But um, if you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.